Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to my Call of Duty Ghosts veteran walkthrough. To us, and as it legend. says here, uh, 12 years earlier, basically, that is the main antagonist right there. That's Rourke. And you are playing as Elias. You're playing as your dad in the game. So you're doing a little flashback here. A flashback here. And you're trying to capture Almagro, and this is some Federation leader. Anyways, at this area, what you want to do is kind of hang back from the rest of your team. I know that sounds kind of silly, but there's this tank coming up here. Not this one, but there will be one on the left that's for the Federation, and it will mess you up. So you have to be very careful. So I just like hide behind this pillar here, and I can get a good view some of some of those guys over there. So I just want to pick them off if I can. The tank will take care of the rest. And yeah. Pick the rest of them off that are running away. And eventually this tank will get blown up. And Sorry, I, I should have mentioned the reason why you want to hang back here is because you will just get blown to shrapnel or shot up if you hang out where your guys are. Which isn't good. And as soon as this tank comes through the wall, that one gets blown up too. So you want to run by it and you'll have enough time to... I don't know why... I, I, try, I think I tried sliding and it didn't work <laughs> but okay so you're blocked in there and for this level checkpoints will be your lifesaver because there are a couple tricky areas where there'll be a lot of guys and you have to and apparently you have to keep the pace going you have to keep going really fast but, but I, I went pretty slow and I, I, I think I did just fine so I like taking out those RPG guys first or going after the small fries and you can always throw a flashbang down there make it be easier on yourself and once you are given the all clear by your teammates then what you do is also if you notice there on the left before you climb up on this there will be the Rourke file right behind you there I believe there are two in this mission. I could be mistaken though. I haven't I haven't gotten them all fully, but anyways. That missile launcher is deactivated. And you want to after you come over to this area, you want to hug the left side here. You don't want to move up to that barrier, that concrete barrier right in front of you because that's a key place for them to throw grenades at you. See, after, I only do it after my guys have moved up and the enemies have been pushed back a bit. But you don't want to hang out here right after you do that because you'll get killed either by a grenade or someone else trying to myrtleize you. So I just want to make sure everything's safe. So I throw a grenade and then a flashbang. Yeah, so you just got to be very careful because they can kill you in one or two shots. Yeah, I just want to make sure he's dead. Well, they, they can really kill you extremely quickly before you can even really react sometimes. And this level's okay. And, and I know it's a Call of Duty game, but for some reason there isn't as much shooting as I thought there would be in this game. I know that sounds silly, but um, yeah, it, as opposed to the older Call of Duties, there, there was so much more enemies and gigantic set pieces go on but I don't know so I'm just hiding behind this barrier I'm leaning picking each one off and remembering to snap with the left trigger it's a helpful tool you will use in this game and you don't have to take these guys out they will deal with those guys but actually I do almost get hurt here so, so you have to be very careful but you can use the missile launch for cover and when you run up to it, you will spark the next cutscene here. And as you can see, the dam is destroyed. So you have to move or else you will get flooded out here. And coming up in this area, you, you can die actually from from the water rising if you take too long but 
really easy to just sprint ahead. More checkpoints. They're very prevalent in, in this game, so you don't have to worry about about getting a checkpoint because they're a dime a dozen. And the water's rising, so yeah, keep moving. And I'm looking around. Wait a sec. I thought there were four of us. What happened to the fourth guy? Uh oh. Do we lose one? <laughs> I'm confused. I'm just like, okay, I guess there's just three of us. Uh, I guess. Oh, there we go. Hello, Ajax. Scare me for a sec there, man. Not because you're black. I'm not being racist. But anyways. Moving on up here. Anything else you want to say, Sergeant? No, sir. And it's hot out there. In this interval, I don't know if you really need to take anyone out. But I just do just for the sake of it. Just to make it look good. But if you walk over to the right side here, after you shoot these guys. See, this isn't necessary because it says the roof isn't holding. Apparently, keep engaging targets. And so I move over here, and that will spark the little flood to break the building you are in. Look at that parts of a building just going on by. Pretty crazy. And miraculously, you don't get get hit by any debris or get impaled by any rebar or crushed by any cars because you are you are a king you are invincible of course and this guy gets all up in your grill push him away and of course Rourke survives don't know how he got up there but oh well and in this this part, I I feel like I'm playing Black Ops 2 again, which is interesting. Uh, this this game takes a lot of different uh, set pieces from from last games. I know I've said this before, but it takes a lot of set pieces and does its own does their own thing with they they do their own thing with with uh, parts of the last game. So uh, like I feel like right now I'm I'm playing. With Woods, do you remember the mission where you're with Woods and you're going through this Vietnam, uh, this this village, and you're using nothing but a knife and and taking people out. Oh, ouch! And down you go. And I think he's dead. Work. Okay, calm down. But but yeah, that this part just makes me feel like I'm I'm playing that part of Black Ops 2. And there are actually quite a few areas in this game that that are throwbacks to the different games and I'll explain when I show up in those levels except for the space levels obviously that's unique to this game and I guess that's just more of a physics thing where they're just showing off I know I know it I know it's integral to the story but I think that they're just also trying to show off their their physics and their fancy new engine and what have you well, not very new engine, but whatever. And then you will see here the Enemy other Rourke file. Be ready. Okay, and I switched that one for the red dot sight bison. And here I just hide behind the door and lean out and pick off guys one by one. Make sure you just tap the right trigger or R1 just because you want to minimize recoil and just tapping it nice and slow like that ensures maximum accuracy, ensuring you get the kill that you want. Although I, I although I think there might be two laptops in this level. I'm pretty sure that it's just one per level. 
So I am probably wrong about that previous statement about there being one before that missile launcher when you were taking out those missile launchers earlier on the level. And in this area you can crouch and you will remain underwater so it's basically a safe way to move up to your next cover or it is also a safe way to kill yourself when you are damn see I just went underwater there it's basically turtling so yep they can't see me anymore heal up poke back out and I know exactly where he was so I can shoot him and um if there are people close to you, then you can shoot underwater, so keep that in mind. And you can't really look up from underwater and see them, but if you know the general area of where they are, just go underwater and easy peasy. So I'm just hanging back here, again, playing super safe because I know that one guy can just two-shot me real quick. I just want to make sure that we're all clear, we're all good to go. And at this part, I just ensure my safety. F on down here. And you want to grab this light machine gun, it'll make it a lot easier for this parking garage area. And I feel like they took a lot out of the campaign and put it into the multiplayer as far as level design goes because there's one that looks pretty much exactly like this it's called flood what do you know <laughs> but um, some of the levels blend in some of the levels look the same but there are, there are the select few that are very very unique very cool there's one that actually has a castle in it kinda reminds me of uh, chivalry medieval warfare and uh, it has its own castle and it it's basically in the Scottish Highlands and there are environmental things that you can do. You, uh, I know you guys probably saw that in the trailer, but you can actually lower the gate of the castle so there's only a couple places where they can come in, but very cool, very cool level. some things you don't really see in, in Call of Duty and as you can see I'm just moving my way up here and I saw the muzzle flash of where he was shooting from so I probably could have taken him out underwater but just want to use my guys as cover pretty much and again the key is just taking it slow so and you can tap left trigger underwater to automatically snap to them underwater so make it a lot easier for you and we're coming up on Allegro or Alejandro or whatever I don't know <laughs> I forgot his name already see these set pieces aren't aren't very memorable but but when it, it, even in even in battlefield the the campaign isn't it's it's like a B movie you know you're gonna you're gonna enjoy it while it's there it's it's entertaining but you're not going to remember anyone's name or or what have you in the future. You're going to forget the plot eventually because the plot's not very good. But enough talking down about this game. Because I feel the resources they have as far as making a Call of Duty, you know, I think they did pretty well for themselves. So, so we're coming up on Rourke here. And you gotta run in here, jump on the helicopter. And you have to shoot this guy. It is required. If you don't shoot him in time, then you're kinda screwed, but this plays out. And that's basically it for, for this mission, guys. Pretty simple stuff. I promise there will be trickier areas, but also for this area, you do have to let go. You do have to press B, otherwise you will fall as well. So keep that in mind. I know you want to save them, but oh well. 
All right, so that'll be it for part six, and I will see you next video. Thanks for watching. So what did you do? I made the hardest decision of my life. I let him go and save the others.